Hello friends, let's take a brief overview of Selenium WebDriver. Introducing WebDriver, the primary new feature in Selenium 2.0 is the integration of the WebDriver. A PI WebDriver is designed to providing and simpler, more concise programming interface along with addressing some limitations in the Selenium RC API. Selenium WebDriver was developed to better support dynamic web pages where Elements of a page may change without the page itself being reloaded. WebDriver's goal is to supply a well-designed objectory in an API that provides improved support for modern advanced Webog testing problems. How does WebDriver drive the browser compared to Selenium RC? Selenium WebDriver makes direct calls to the browser using each browser's native support for automation. How these direct calls are made and the features they support depends on the browser you are using. For those familiar with Selenium RC, this is quite different from what you are used to. Selenium RC work the same way for each supported browser. It injected JavaScript functions into the browser when the browser was loaded and then used its JavaScript to drive the AUT within the browser. WebDriver does not use this technique. Again, it drives the browser directly using the browser's built-in support for automation. WebDriver and the Selenium server. You may, or may not, need the Selenium server. Depending on how you intend to use Selenium WebDriver, if you will be only using the WebDriver API you do not need the Selenium server, if your browser and tests will all run on the same machine, and your tests only use the WebDriver API, then you do not need to run the Selenium server. WebDriver will run the browser directly. There are some reasons though to use the Selenium server with Selenium WebDriver. You are using Selenium Grid to distribute your tests over multiple machines or virtual machines. You want to connect to a remote machine that has a particular browser version that is not on your current machine. You are not using the Java bindings and would like to use HTML unit driver.